Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Sorry, I had recorded um, a video about the, uh, another Pokemon binder that I really enjoyed and having reviewed it myself, um, it's not really in line with the quality of the videos that I do produce regularly. So I wanted to sort of do a follow-up and properly review this item once again for all of you so that you can really see what this binder is all about. And so you have a nice high quality view of things because I do strive to make my videos as high quality as possible. So I do want to apologize in advance and I want to thank you all for giving me this as a second chance uh, to show you this much nicer, crisper, clearer video in which again, you can really see the binder in action. And uh, yeah, so again, uh, should any of you be interested, the Amazon link for this product is in the description section down below. And let's again, go right ahead and open up this binder. So again, I had just put it back in its original box. It's still, it's still pretty much completely brand new. Um, have not used it as of yet. And we're gonna go right ahead and open up this bad boy and you can already see uh, the colors a lot more nicely than you were able to see them before last time, right? So again, here, this is the binder. This is sort of the lock mechanism that you can put onto the binder just to prevent um, the binder itself from sort of opening by itself, which I think is a nice little feature. A lot of binders that I see that are specifically for collecting Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and baseball trading cards, for example, seem to lack this little feature. And I really, really like it because if your binder accidentally opens, then that gives the possibility of your cards potentially, um, you know, getting crumpled, etc. cetera. Uh, so you definitely don't want to have those sorts of accidents. And if you're using a binder like this to collect it, ideally you won't. So let's go right ahead and open up this trap and take a look inside. So really nice function and feature of this specific binder that I really liked. And again, here you can actually really see um, that this binder can hold up to nine cards, nine cards on each of its respective sides, right? So it's a three by three, and there are many, many, many pages, okay? Um, the binder itself is quite high quality. Um, it can hold up to a total of 360 cards. So again, the price point for me was one of the main selling points because again, it can just hold so many cards. The stitching itself is very high quality. The binder feels quite nice itself as well. So again, um, very, very similar to the blue binder that I had reviewed. Absolutely would recommend you check it out and order it um, if you are interested in this sort of product, because again, it's easily accessible by Amazon, um, ships to Canada, and it's just a fantastic overall product. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all next time. And I'll make sure to continue producing some high quality videos for all of you to enjoy.